Jazz lose by six. Here's their head coach, Quinn Snyder. Well, you know, uh, there was a few of them, um, particularly earlier in the game, you know, where we had a, a couple breakdowns um, that weren't related, um, you know, to, to penetration, um, where we made some mistakes in pick and roll with the five. Um, they got a few runouts in transition. You know, I think the latter stages of the game where, you know, where we all felt it, um, you know, the, the, the challenge for us is, is, is to do a better job containing the ball. Um, and then, you know, if we aren't able to do that, um, to come and be able to protect the rim. And then when the ball is kicked out, you know, to get to, the, to those shooters, particularly to the first shooter out. Um, and, you know, the, the telltale is if, you know, we can't have, you know, Brunson have the night he had, you know, and also be able um, to kick the ball out for, for those looks. And when those, when those passes are kicked out, um, I, I thought we, were, we weren't as sharp mentally in our ability to, to, to rotate. Um, and that's something that, that, that we've done before. Um, it's, it's obviously a challenge. Um, you know, when you have a guy that, that handles the ball as well and is good, good off the dribble and can drive, um, you know, we have to do a better job containing or at least give them a direction where we're able to give help. Um, but, you know, ha having said that, you know, this is the second game of the series. And, you know, there's things that, that we'll be able to look at and, and clean up. You know, when a team is going to space like that, um, they're going to get going to get looks. I think that the, the key thing you said there is that, you know, I don't know how exactly we define uncontested, um, but that that means we're not getting to where we need to be quick enough. And um, you know, both those things: staying in front, uh, being able to protect the rim, and then getting back out to shooters. There's a you know, there's a chain reaction there. Um, I thought we, like I said, I thought we weren't as sharp, um, but we're, again, we're, we're in the game, um, you know, really in the game. Uh, Colbert had a great night, tip your hat, um, even though some of them, you know, w were open. Um, the choice there is, you know, Brunson's on the rim and Colbert's in the corner, and, you know, we've got to be able to take away the rim and then get to those shooters and at least make them make a couple extra passes. Um, you know, where we have a chance to rotate. But I, I thought that, that our rotations weren't as sharp as they need to be. And, you know, whether it's execution, you know, after someone has driven the ball or, you know, execution on the front end when they're, when they're looking for a matchup and trying to attack us, um, both those, you know, both those areas, you know, I think we can be better, you know, and, and we'll need to be. After what happened last, sorry, after what happened in last year's Clippers series, when kind of similar issues happened, sure. How much, you know, how much did you guys feel like you prepared for this during the regular season? And we, we've prepared, yeah, we've prepared for it extensively. You know, you have watched this play this year, Andy, and um, th th this isn't something that's foreign to our group. Um, it's kind of what I elaborated on in the beginning. You know that, um, you know, the ability to, to stay in front and, and, and not give up both directions. I think when the ball gets middle. Um, it's even more it's more difficult for us to help and still be able to you know to rotate to guys that um, but tonight you know rotating to the corner is something that we know how to do we got to be there quicker like I said make them make an extra pass and you know and if we're able to you know to be I think you know more focused disciplined on the ball um, you know, and keep the ball out of the paint and on the rim um, we're not in as many help situations so it's, uh, you know, that this is not something, um, I don't know if that it's good or bad, that it's not something that's foreign to us. It's something that, as you said, we've prepared for on, on many different levels. Um, but our execution wasn't where it needed to be tonight. I thought we were a step slow from the beginning of the game. Um, and that's not to take anything away from Dallas, you know. Um, and then, you know, sometimes when, when a team does have um, – you know, a hot shooting night, you know, whether they're contested or not, making 47% of your threes, 
you know, is, is, is going to be, you know, a tough game to win. And I think we've been able to score through some of those situations as well, um, where we can actually get matched up um, when we're coming back down in the half court defensively. And so those things kind of feed, feed each other. Going to ask about that. How did you how do you evaluate your offense, especially in the fourth quarter? Well, you, you know, when you're taking the ball out of the net, um, you know, I've said it before. We we really we need to run um, in order to try to get better looks and get space and get to the rim. I, I thought we got some clean looks. We got to the rim a few times. We had some offensive rebounds that we weren't able, you know, to convert. Um, you know, again. Um, you know, we'll, we'll look at the film, you know, and, and see what the execution looks like. But, um, you know, when you're when when they're making shots like that, um, and you want to try to run it run it back at them, um, it makes it a lot more difficult. And they they were doing a good job. Um, we were playing some small small pick and roll. We were getting by, and um, you know, being able to make those plays in the lane and finish an offensive rebound is something that we're going to have to do. It's something we have done. Um, and this is the playoff. It's 1-1. It's, it's you know, we're going back home. And we have some things that we can look at and adjust to. And, uh, you know, and it's a seven-game series. This is game two. So we've got to clean some things up, be better. And uh, I think we've got a group that's capable of doing that. They understand the things that we need to, um, to be better at across the board. And uh, that's what we'll do. Once again, they kind of hold you guys relatively in check from beyond the arc, and you guys wind up getting quite a few of your points by going into the lane. How do you kind of – is that a balance that you just have to live with at this, at this point, given what they're doing? Defensively? Yeah, I mean, I think when we are in the lane, we have – you know, we need to finish at the rim, you know, and, and that's something that we're capable of doing. Um, you know, if they're not um, helping immediately – on an initial pass because they're drifting, we need to drive a closeout, you know, and, and be under control when we get in the paint. And, you know, it's just, it's, you're going to have to have more of a, you know, of a multiple actions in order to generate some of those shots. And I think also, you know, getting out in transition and getting space where you can attack and kick out. So, um, like I said, again, I, I think we'll watch the film and we'll see a number of times that we have the ball, you know, where we need to finish. Um, that I think we're capable of doing, um, but obviously the, the, you know, they're trying to take away the line. Um, so there's different ways that, that you can get that. It, it's not going to be as easy, but that doesn't mean um, you know, it may not be there after one pass and pick and roll where you've got a clear kick out. Um, but we had a few lobs early that you know we didn't didn't convert on. Um, we had a few drives late that we didn't convert on, and uh, you know it's a one-two possession game. So um, you start adding some of those things up. You can, you know, you don't run from the things that you feel like you need to do better. But I think there's also the flip side of it that you don't you don't hang your head um, when you play against the team that played very well tonight, and you know the game goes down to the wire. So um, again, th there's a difference between you know overreacting and and responding and. You know, we need to respond. We've been in these situations before over the course of the entire season, and uh, that's something we've got to.